Hey everybody, Jerome and Ashley here from Atmosphere Collectibles, and we have our new releases, restock special orders video <coughs> uh, for this Memorial Day weekend, which uh, we are going to be open normal hours for Memorial Day. Uh, we'll be open Monday as well. Um, so yeah, if you've got over, come see us. So yeah. So we're going to get started. Uh, we tried to shoot this video yesterday multiple times. Uh, so I don't know. There could be a few things that have sold. I'm not hundred percent sure, but we've got plenty of records that we're excited to show you. Um, we'll start off with this reissue of simple plans album. Let's see. It's called Nope, no pads, no helmets, just balls. And this is a limited edition crystal clear reissue of the 2002 pop punk classic album. Uh, this is the first reissue. The original press has been out of print for a long time, so it's a little bit pricier. So this is a great affordable option if you are right a fan. You can. Uh, Black Country New Road, Live at Bush Hall, new release. Uh, so we've got the new Arlo Parks album called My Soft Machine. Uh, Music on Vinyl has done Carol King, Welcome Home. And this is uh, numbered 180 gram and it is on flame colored vinyl. Speaking of music on vinyl, we also have Paco Collected. And this is a 2LP compilation of like Paco's greatest hits. Uh, he Who Walks Behind the Rose, The Lucky One Died First. This is kind of interesting. It's a uh, uh, folk country garage. Uh, songs about horror movies. Yeah, so the song titles are like Kingdom of Spiders, The Children, um, Eyeball, Burial Ground. Christine, but it's pretty interesting. It's definitely worth checking out. So if you're a fan of horror movies, then check it out. Uh, we've got another music on vinyl. This is John Hyatt Collected. So this is a 2LP compilation of John Hyatt from Music on Vinyl. Spinning the Truth Around Part 1. This is uh, Blue October, limited edition red vinyl, double album, gatefold sleeve. Brand new album from Blue October. We also have one of their older albums out in the bins, or their, not their, another album from them out, out in the bins. Uh, okay, so super excited to finally get the J. Cole reissue of 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Uh, this has been out of print for a little bit, so I've got a lot of people who are excited about this one. It's a 2LP and a single pocket uh, record. Uh, Travis Trent's earliest recordings, uh, the songs that got him signed, 11 unreleased tracks. It's called Proud of the Country. So I believe right now that's the only Travis Trent I can get in. Um, so yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, okay, so there's a brand new uh, reissue uh, of Stone Temple Pilots Purple. So this is limited edition crystal clear vinyl. And, um, yeah, this one I hadn't been able to get in for a little while, so I've got a few people that will be excited about that. There's a lot of metal this week, and there's a new metal church. There's a Congregation of Annihilation, which is brand new metal church. I haven't heard anything from them in a while, so it'd be nice to hear. It's got the classic logo on the back. All right, so... We've got the brand new album from Immortal, and this one's called War Against All. We have a Balactic, or Baltic Blue Vinyl Pressing. It does say limited edition. I don't know how many, too. Oh, that's but... the second one without a bath, I believe, and the first one was really good. Uh, it's the best thing they've done in a long time. It's uh... <laughs> Yeah, Drum is excited. Drum likes that stuff, so... Uh, there's a couple arch enemies. Uh, there's Burning Bridges, which was the third album, and it was the last one to feature Johan uh, Liva on uh, vocals, uh, the male singer. And then we have Start of Arch Enemies, Infamous Second Era. So it's the with the singer Angela Gos Gaskell. Gaskell. Okay, uh, it's called Wages of Sin, and this is limited edition. Transparent red 
vinyl. And then there got two more that are up for pre-order or on pre-book. I don't remember the, which titles they are. I can double check, but nice to see that they're doing reissues of these Arch Enemy yeah, albums. Yeah, so. I don't know if they're going to do the first two. I hope they do, but we'll see. Um, okay, so we've got a brand new uh, repress of Shinedown's album called The Sound of Madness. And this is a limited edition crystal clear vinyl. Um, now, I don't know, it was about a year and a half or two years ago, they reissued all the Shinedown and they, uh, but this one ran out. Like, so then they reissued this one and it's a different color variant. The other variant was like white and um, yeah, it's a, uh, so Great. These, uh, I've also got, shine down yeah, I've got, I also ordered some other shine down to restock the bins. Um, I just have to find, so one I've got is, uh, what is this? Leave a Whisper. Uh, this is a 2LP. It is also, this is translucent blue. And then I have somewhere. Might oh, it might've sold of, of, uh, threat, I guess. But yeah, I can get more of the other shine downs in. So. so there's a new vomitory. It's on dim gray vinyl. All heads are gonna roll. Um, we are out of it at the moment, but we are getting more. Yeah, um, we. Uh, if you like Florida death metal, that style. Uh, they're not from Florida, but if you like that style, great record. <laughs> uh, okay, so this came out uh, about two weeks ago, and ours were just delayed getting in. But it is the brand new Duran Jones album, and it's called Wait Till I Get Over. We've got limited edition Blue Jay vinyl. Uh, we, it does come with a booklet. And uh, if you like Modern Soul, or obviously if you like Duran Jones and the Indications, definitely check out. If you like Monophonics, um, I don't know, a lot of that Coal Mine type of vibe, uh, check out Duran Jones. So we've got some Chevelle. We've got uh, the North Corridor. And uh, wonder what's next. The uh, I think these are on black vinyl. Uh, I was able to get some more copies of Taylor Swift 1989. Uh, now I believe all the ones I got for this week are claimed. I can get some more next week. So if you'd like one or like to reserve a copy, let me know. I've got other Taylor Swift mixed in here as well, but. Um, I just don't have them all in order, and we gotta get this reboot. So the Nine Studio album by Lana Del Rey. This is limited edition, green vinyl, alternative artwork. All right, Back so we've got um, Matchbox 20, Where the Light Goes. Now this is a brand new album from Matchbox 20. Uh, there's Single Wild Dogs Running in a Slow Dream is on this one, but it's a brand new. I think they're on tour this summer. Are they going on tour? Uh, Switzerland Manifesto, MK2. Uh, Joe Perry, 180 gram. Never before released songs. Purple and White Swirl Vinyl. So if you're an Aerosmith fan or a Joe Perry fan. Get the smash on the guitar on the back. <laughs> Uh, so we've got a brand new album from Sparks, and it is uh, on, we've got the indie exclusive clear vinyl. It includes a booklet, and it's called The Girl is Crying in Her Latte. So nice, uh, nice to see another Sparks. We have more of the Ghost uh, limited edition tan vinyl, uh, Phantomine, the cover EP. Just came out. Um, okay, so another music on vinyl title. We've got uh, Case Choice 25. This is limited edition of a thousand individually numbered copies on yellow and orange marbled vinyl. Uh, it is a 2LP, and this is a compilation of a group called Case Choice, and they're from Belgium. I mean, when you listen to their music, it's in English. It sounds to me, it sounds like music that we played on like One Tree Hill or something, or like one of those songs. I'm not 100% super familiar with it, but um, yeah, it's a 2LP, and uh, that's cool. Uh, Petroleum Spirit Day, Swerve Driver, going back to the late 80s, early 90s, shoegaze. 
classic record. Definitely one of the best of that era. All right, so this is, uh, I could be, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. It's Fania Iyer, and it's called Rest. Um, this is on Sleepy Sage Vinyl, and it says for fans of Stereolab, Moses Sumney, Portishead, Arcade Fire, and more, which we're really big fans of Stereolab and Portishead, um, I still need to give it a listen, but it definitely sounds like it's right up my alley. Um, and anyway, so. So Circus Survive, uh, Hopeless. This is blue with blue, yellow, and red splatter. So this actually came out last week and I ran out. I don't know if I got to show it in a video, but it is Samantha Fish and Jesse Dayton. It's called Death Wish Blues. Uh, we have, uh, Samantha Fish has played in our area multiple times. She's really awesome blues <coughs> guitarist. And um, so yeah, I ran out last week, decided to get more copies of it in for- So they're finally getting around with putting the Brodekin on vinyl. Uh, they've got Instruments of Torture, and Festival of Death, and these are limited to like 500 copies, so if you uh, want a copy, get it while you can. I remember when these first came out, they were... This is when we had our first tour, yeah. right? Yeah. We sold a lot of the CD, and uh, Jerome obviously kept one of each of those. Now, he also has a reel-to-reel -reel of one of the Brodekins, and uh, this is limited to 25. This is not for sale. Uh, one of our locals, a friend of ours, has a tape label called Dissonant Tapes. I think we might have some Brodick and Tapes out there, though. Yeah, we carry, uh, we carry them in the shop for him. And uh, anyway, Jerome's a fan of it, obviously. Uh, the Bluebells in the 21st century. I believe that is a, uh indie exclusive. I don't know the variant. Uh, so this is a group I really like. It's The OCs, and this is live at Leviathan. Uh, this is a indie retail store exclusive colored vinyl. I oh levitation, yeah. Um, if you like, if you're not familiar with the OCs or just OCs or all the different names that they've gone by, if you like the modern psych vibe, or if you're a fan of King Gizzard or Frankie and the Witch Fingers or um, that kind of vibe, worth definitely checking out. checking out. Worth checking out, and these live. Albums are always really good. Shania Twain. Um, okay, so we've got Lucy Dacus or Dacus. Uh, this is the fifth anniversary uh, edition reissue of her album Historian. Uh, this is pressed on limited edition red vinyl with never before seen original artwork. Uh, if you're a fan of Boy Genius, she's a member of Boy Genius, so, um, yeah, that's pretty pretty cool. All right, so this that. is a stereo remaster on heavyweight 180 gram vinyl. This is uh, Pink Floyd The Wall, back in stock. So another back in stock, we've got Phoebe Bridger's Punisher. That's a really popular title that just goes in and out of stock all the time. Nirvana and Utero, back in stock. Uh, I believe this was a, a special order because I'm not familiar with it, but it's a group called Portrayal of Guilt. So we have two records in from them. It's uh, on solid gray vinyl. We've got Devil Music, and then we have this one as well, and it's on black vinyl. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with them. Either. Not familiar with them. I believe somebody either asked me, told me about them, or asked me to get them in. Uh, or just it looks like the artwork is kind of like rudimentary being i or something but uh yeah the but I, are once i pull it up and so check it out a little bit more i'll uh, i might it. have a better idea of like remember who it was that mentioned them to me deftones adrenaline i've also got uh saturday night wrist all right so stuff. we have a uh, gin blossoms uh mixed reality and this is uh on splatter vinyl i don't know if you can see the color but uh i think this one is from the mid 2000s or late 2000s hmm. but uh it's not a new album but i think it's the first time on vinyl 
Uh, so I got in another copy of Beyonce Lemonade on double yellow vinyl. Uh, I had one in last week and then um, got another copy in, I believe. I do have this. This one is got claimed, uh, but I can't, I'll get more in next week if you want one. I got Jay-Z, The Black Album, and Volume 2, uh, Hard Knock Life. So Hard Knock Life, uh, that one had been out of stock for a while. It popped back up. Uh, so if you need one, I, I only I think I started off with one. I'll probably get more in next week. I also have more restocks of Mac Miller. So we've got the Macadelic reissue. We've got kids and more copies of Good AM. I might have I'll have more Mac Miller. Oh, I had watching movies, but I ran out before the video. Um, but I'll have more of the watching movies next week. Let me know what so you mean. So VNSO, um, what now? Back in stock. <laughs> so we got the uh, reissue of Death Cap for Cutie Plans. And this is plus vinyl bonus track. So I just assume that this is just a normal reissue on black vinyl. I could be wrong on that. Uh, Vandals Hollywood Potato Chip uh, on Haze Blue Vinyl. I think this was originally like 2004. So, gotta love the title. All right, so this is a reissue, I believe, of the group is called Can't Swim and the album is called Thanks But No Thanks. This is on, it's an indie exclusive color variant. It's black, white with red and mint splatter um i think it's hardcore or punk um i believe that somebody asked me to get this in i couldn't get more in if uh i'm not it's it's not super familiar to me so I'm red hot chili peppers uh blood sugar sex magic back in stock also we've got uh californication back in stock uh dropkick murphy's acoustic this is lyrics of uh woody guthrie um Okuma Rising. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but Dropkick Murphy's. Okay, so we have the next in line of the Craft Recordings uh, Original Jazz Classics reissues. Um, these are, this whole series are all analog mastering uh, from the original tapes by Kevin Gray, pressed at RTI. Um, nice tip on jacket. It's the Thelonious Monk with John Coltrane. So if you'd like any of the series, as, I mean, we'll be carrying them all as they come Yeah, out, a lot so. of people are going to get them, pick them all up. Mm -hmm. That's just how jazz goes. Uh, Danny Elfman, uh, the 1984 solo album from Oingo Boingo, Frontman. This is the uh, affordable version of this. Yeah, so I believe it's the first official reissue. That is limited to 500 copies. Um, when we had the, we got an original copy in, it was a little bit pricier, Super but pricey, yeah. also didn't realize that they were doing that already. So, uh, so we've got John Carpenter's The Thing. This is a reissue from Waxworks, our Waxwork Records, and it's the original motion picture soundtrack from 1982, music by Ennio Morricone. We've got the Alien Bone and Blood colored vinyl. Nice tip on jacket. Now, uh, there is a, like we've had in the past a couple months ago, it was a nice box set that opened up like a iceberg it was really cool more collectible type price tag to go along with it but anyway happy to see that they did um, that one the final cut remastered pink floyd so i believe it came out last week the new mandy indiana album uh called i've seen a way um although this is a debut maybe this is the ep so anyway, I got this in, uh, and then I had a customer see that, also want this. So anyway, Mandy, Indiana, it's like indie. Um, nothing Shocking, James Addiction, Rhino Music, classic record. Here's a couple more of the Taylor Swift's that I was referring to. We've got Taylor's version of Fearless and Taylor's version of Red. Now, um, I have more Taylor Swift coming in next week, and um, yeah, just... Belladonna Live, 1981, Stevie Nicks, this was the record store day one. Yes. Back in stock. Um, okay, so the Demi Devil has a new album coming out. This is not the new one, but um, this is the first album. Um, 
Oh, it's Ashniko. Sorry, the album is called Demi Devil, and the artist is called Ashniko. And I could be pronouncing that wrong, but it's really cool music. And they do have a new album that I have pre-ordered for the shop. But I had a customer who also needs this one. So I and I also think she's on tour. So we've got some Slipknot back in stock. We got All Hope Is Gone and Iowa. Soundgarden. Um, now this is uh, Screaming Life, early Soundgarden. I got a copy of that in last week. I got it sold really fast, so I got one for the bins. Also, I got more copies of the Sleep Token, newest Sleep Token album called Take Me Back to Eden on gold vinyl. Uh, we ran out. We had a decent amount of copies last week, but we ran out. Uh, really good album. I have a lot of people saying it might be their album of the year. More Slipknot, Volume 3. We've got Nas, The Lost Tapes, um, just says Hip Hop 50. Okay, this is a two LP set, uh, yellow opaque vinyl, includes MP3 download codes. It's true to self, uh, Tyson Tiller. Uh, Bryson, Bryson Tiller. Tiller yeah. And I've also got Trapsel in. I had a special order. I, th I think he's from Louisville. But yeah, this one was the debut album and then that one. Did you do the Culture Wall? No. Culture Wall. Back in stock. Another back in stock, we've got Rancid and Out Come the Wolves. Uh, we also, I think it's next week, they'll have a, they have a new album coming out. Let me know if you need one. I don't believe that there's a variant that we can get, but I think it just says one. one uh, Raw Hill, Flowers at Your Feet. This is one I'm not familiar with. I might have been a special order. I'm not familiar with it either. Uh, we've got, this was a restock, back, uh, back order filled of Lorna Shore's album, Immortal. So... Uh, Bikini Kill, Reject All America, back in stock. Uh, we've got Steely Dan, Countdown, Countdown to Ecstasy. Uh, this is the Universal Music pressing of that, just a uh, reissue. They are supposed to sound really good. But. All right, uh, five-year anniversary, The weekend, Kiss Land. That's on Sea Glass Final. We've got... Uh, Hardy, and this album is called The Mockingbird and the Crow. So this is kind of country, but um, it's uh, it's very, I haven't checked it out, but apparently it's, it's you know, not your typical country, and he doesn't sing about. He's got one song that features Morgan Wallen, and one song that has Laney Wilson on it. I think he's just here to pick up his train. Okay, Tyler Childers, Country Squire. We've got Santana, uh, a Braxis reissue. Uh, that one I think hey, is yeah, already one. claimed. Yeah, thanks, man. Just on the phone. So we've got uh, Drain, Living Proof. This is on colored vinyl. Uh, this one, it, oh, uh, purple, opaque purple, yes. Uh, this one came out a few weeks ago, but uh, I ran out, keep running out of it. It was extremely well received. Um, Back in stock, we've got Boxcar Racers reissue. I believe it's just black vinyl. And we've got Etta James, Tell Mama. This is part of the Record Store Day Essential titles. It's on yellow vinyl. And this is a Bear Family reissue. They do really great uh, pressings. They're based out of Germany. Uh, I've got some Kanye West restocks. We've got late registration and college dropout. <coughs> also got a restock of Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon. Is this two? Uh, I believe it's the second one. And we're about done. Eminem Relapse. Uh, Melanie Martinez, K2. On uh, a special pop up inside and on pink vinyl. Did you uh, do all those on there? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, and I guess the last one that we have is Born's album Dopamine. Uh, so this is a not a new release or anything. I just had it back ordered. It's really popular and it's um, so I had to back order it. So anyway, 
I think I had somebody that's waiting on that. But I think that's all we have now. We've also, we'll hopefully have a used video up as soon as we are able to. Yeah, and we've just redid the games and working on more games and uh, boy fives and I don't know. Come check <laughs> yeah. it out. Come in, come in and see us. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Yeah, thank you. Have a great and, and happy and safe Memorial Day. Yeah. Um, we will be up with a new video as soon as possible. Bye.